morning people and welcome to what is quite a cold morning in Switzerland or Willkommen zu Schweiz can I say so and it's a quite a chilly chilly start to the morning it's currently half six and uh, we are ready to go and get on a train to a lovely little village about two hours away called Lauterbrunnen I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly and one thing I've already noticed actually is that there's like probably three different pronunciations of Basel so I say Basel I've heard people say Baal and I've already I've also heard people say Basel which I don't think sounds correct so you're gonna have to correct me people if uh, if that's the case but Basel doesn't sound right Baal I've heard said quite a few times in England and Basel even on the plane they were, there was different ways they were saying it the the announcers they were like welcome to Basel welcome to Baal it's like have some consistency guys what's it called <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we're currently on our way to the central Bahnhof which is the train station um, and uh, yeah <laughs> what a start and we we got here yesterday and uh, let me just check this quickly yeah cool awesome all right we've got the right tram we need this one here look Neuweilstrasse new something street <laughs> my german is not the best but i've been practicing um so uh yeah yesterday we were yeah, yeah <laughs> we were at work completely normally normal day-to-day -day jobs and uh we uh got out around about one ish managed to get the day off early and our rest were in our workplaces and um we made our way over to gatwick airport and our plane was delayed initially by an hour and then it became an hour and a half and then uh and then all sorts of different problems occurred but um yeah the, the cost of switzerland has really shocked us to be honest um no i don't think that's us but these are the trams but yeah like we uh we went to a shop literally just over there actually and uh we went to buy a uh, just a just a cheeky little kebab pretty much it was cold it was about we got we find when we finally got here it was about Bitte drücken. I don't know what that means. You have to uh, just use translate to find out what that means. Um, and uh, I um, yeah, we got we got here at around about. But by, by the after the delay, we got here at around about half ten. By the time we actually got into this part of Basel, where we're staying, uh, it was about eleven. So we just popped into this little uh, kebab shop. Bought two kebabs, two drinks. I, sh I I swear to God, honestly, I'm not joking. It cost us thirty quid, thirty pounds. I'll just put I'll put the like equivalents of them on the screen now. It was absolutely unreal, and that is cheap here. That is cheap. That is cheap. I have been looking, <laughs> and that is what you're expecting to pay in your uh, in your average kebab shop. We're not exactly in the tourist district or anything. Uh, we're we're kind of on the outskirts of the old town center it's like a tram ride away um but yeah so far it's been interesting we've got a nice little hotel we're staying in um and that is uh oh should have gone i speak english english yeah 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 you can give me a little bit of coins for oh so we, we, we oh we've spent all of our coins we're really sorry okay no no cent or no no yeah we we, we really no, wish well, we could help el should have do you too, I'll feed us in. <laughs> um, so yeah, we, um, yeah, <laughs> that's the second time that's happened. Yeah, the, one thing I've noticed actually, Basel is full of people that are like broke, which is understandable because it's fucking expensive here. Like, really expensive, bro. Seriously. Like, I mean, we're from England where obviously the, the, the currency doesn't translate too bad. And um, yeah, even. Even our currency doesn't hold up too well here. <laughs> um, so I can imagine if you're from a country 
with lower currency value then this place is probably a bit of a a bit of a culture shock um, which it is already for us but it seems quite interesting at the moment from what we've seen of Baslitz we've only been here in the in the cold night <laughs> uh, but it's, it's, it seems quite interesting um, people are friendly enough um, and yeah right uh, it's 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 just one of those, it just seems like one of those typical European cities currently, I guess. Uh, we've not had a proper look around it. We're going to have a look around it tomorrow. So the plan is, is that we're going to Lauterbrunnen. We're hopping on the train um, for around about half seven-ish. Hence the early start. Um, and then we should get to Lauterbrunnen for around about nine-ish. But uh, on the way, I've heard that we're going through some of the best and most beautiful scenery in all of Europe in terms of the train journey. Now we've been on some pretty spectacular train journeys. We've been through the highlands of Scotland. We've been through some pretty beautiful journeys in general. The mountains of uh, Croatia and Bosnia. So this should be uh, this should be rather interesting. We've heard great things. We've heard how expensive Switzerland is. So we are prepared for that in, in small ways. And we're gonna try and do this on the cheap if we can. Bullwim at Lee. Yeah, we, uh, we're just here to experience it. We're only here for a short trip. It's just a few days. It's Christmas in a in a couple of weeks, so uh, hopefully we see some festive cheer as well. But uh, yeah, so far so good. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna reserve huge judgment yet on on what I think of Switzerland and Basel until the end of the journey. But um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to seeing what Lauterbrunnen is like because I've heard a lot about this place and I'm very excited. So uh, yeah, let's do this. So we're here at the uh, central train station, it's just here, and uh, <laughs> me and uh, SBB do not have the best relationship currently, <laughs> not a fan of them at all actually. <laughs> I'll cover that in another video, that in itself is a, is a topic, but uh, oh look Burger King, nice, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I had some pretty bad experiences with that company. I'll, as I say, I'll cover that off in a different video. One thing I get really confused about here is where do we walk? <laughs> is it like a free for all? Yeah. Again, a very, very too. We're probably just walking on the road, known as. But yeah, there you go. So nice little clock tower. And uh, yeah, lots of homeless people as well. It's so sad, man. It kind of reminds me a little bit of London in some ways. Very expensive and lots of people stuck with, you know, without any money, sleeping rough. Also some very beautiful sights as well. It's quite a, uh, quite a disparity. <laughs> wow, wow, very nice. Look at that. So we're gonna go and figure out what train we need. I've got a vague idea of the, uh, place so we're, we're starting off by going to a place called Interlaken uh, and then from there we're jumping off and getting going to uh, Lauterbrunnen but that's what we currently have so yeah let's try and find this and wish us luck all right Tammy's very kindly offered to uh, keep an eye on the board for us so uh, let's go and have a little tour of this station it's uh, old school man I like it so you got a very, 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 very beautiful picture here of Lake Lucan, Lucerne, Lucerne, Lu can't pronounce it. <laughs> Help me out people in the comments, how the hell do you pronounce that? Vierwaldstur... Uh, 
え、え、あ、あ、カンプランスだ。え、え、じゃあ、お、え、スタッツ。like this quattro cantons。<laughs> I can't speak French. My French is probably better. My French pronunciation is probably better than my German. Meine deutsche Aussprache ist nicht so gut. Um. Yeah. So uh, I don't want to leave Tammy here too long, but yeah, let's uh, go and have a look on the platforms. <clears throat> a decent sized train station, to be fair. Um, so Basel, from what I've been reading, is uh, a very, it's quite a small place, but a very, very multicultural place. Oh wow, <laughs> look at that, a double-decker train. It doesn't come as a complete surprise. I do, I've seen a few YouTubers go to uh, this part of the world and there's usually a uh, double-decker train somewhere, but I just, yeah, I've never seen one for myself. But yeah, it's uh, quite a multicultural city, so quite a few people do speak English um, and French as well. So I was speaking to this guy yesterday, giving him my best German I could. And I was like, uh, Woher, wo kommen Sie? Or, co sorry, kommen Sie, kommen Sie aus Basel? Are you from Basel? And he's like, no, I'm from France. He actually responded in uh, English, which is quite funny. <laughs> I was speaking to him in German, he was responding in English. And then I started trying to speak to him in French. <laughs> I was like, merci beaucoup, <laughs> au revoir. <laughs> he probably was like, make your mind up, mate. Choose a language and stick with it. But. If you know anything about this channel, you'll know that I love learning languages. I love speaking different languages, but French isn't a language that I learned, actually. So when I was researching Basel, it was German. And I had a little slight advantage because I'd learned German in school. So I knew a little already, but only elementary basic level. And really, I still only know an elementary basic level, <laughs> but enough to get by, as I do with most languages when I go to a different country. But I know just a tiny bit more here than I do in other places. So. Uh, I'm looking to try and extend my knowledge of German actually. I've been practicing. It's the one language I'm going to try and learn fluently. Most times I just learn like the basics of a language enough to communicate with locals. But I actually, I'm actually making a, an effort to learn German completely fluently. It's going to be a, quite a challenge though. Dirty and das, not a fan of that. That's a challenge. But yeah, it's a rather beautiful station. And uh, like most things in this side of the world, a very well oiled machine. And there is our train, Interlaken. Platform Sieben. Let's go and find it. Good, good, good. They uh, have a restaurant cart on these trains. Uh, don't know how much they're going to cost food wise, but uh, yeah, we was having a little look around the coffee shops as we was coming up, and uh, it's about. It's about the same for a coffee as it is in in the UK. Costa, if you think like Costa, the cost of a coffee in Costa, then uh, that's about the same. Uh, but I was going to Berlin, not our one just yet. So we're going here and we're gonna take a little seat and uh, yeah, it smells very nice in here. <laughs> not, uh, but it's warm and that's what we need right now. Okay, I had it wrong, that was our train. <laughs> Luckily, Tammy spotted that. At least one of us was paying attention. Why are you pressing that? It's already open. <laughs> she just closed the door, look. So there we go, Interlaken. Let's have our first look at a Swiss train. Oh, that's not first class, is it? Don't wanna be going in there. I guess probably first class by our standards, isn't it? <laughs> In the UK. So, yeah. <laughs> nice and warm in here at least. Huh? Let's go through there, yeah. Let's see what we've got. Wi Fi, that's good. We're going to need that. GGF Reserve it. We're going to have to look into that. I don't know if these are reserved. I don't know. We don't have a reservation. That's the problem. That's the problem. Yeah. Not that I know of. Yeah. But we're going to find a seat. So wish us luck. Yep. So it's a free for all, thankfully. Um, we just uh, found someone and uh, asked. And uh, yeah, you can sit anywhere. So good, good. We've got a seat. 
and so I think it's about a two hour journey to Interlaken um, Interlaken? Interlaken? I can say Larken for now can't pronounce it <laughs> as, as with most things in different languages but I'll give it my best so we've got about 22 minutes until we depart and um, yeah genuinely looking forward to seeing what the uh, what the route's going to be like so we're going through Tun Bites um, Bern Interlaken West, Interlaken Ost. Yeah, so um, Olsen, Bern, Tun. Again, don't know if I'm pronouncing them right, but yeah, so we're uh, just going to wait now, depart, and then uh, see what this journey's like. So we've made it, we're in Interlaken. I was pronouncing that correctly as well, so I'm quite impressed by that. Um, and we've got six minutes to get to our train, which is just over there. So uh, hopefully we make it, and hopefully we make our way over to Lauterbrunnen. Well, I've just found out that the pronunciation is Lauterbrunnen, not Lauterbrunnen. So uh, I do apologise if I've been butchering the pronunciation all this time. I've got a few of them right, I'm going to get a few of them wrong. But uh, yeah, just waiting now. Could be heading off soon. I think it's about a 20 minute journey from here into Larkin to Lauter Brunnen. So uh, yeah, let's see what the rest of the journey has in store. And it's very cold, so I'm glad I'm up to warm. Here it is, Lauterbrunnen. We've made it, and what a journey that was. But wow, it was certainly worth it. Let's have a closer look. So yes, <laughs> it's a rather scenic place. Very, very nice. So I, uh, I got tagged in a post a few years ago on social media. One of my family members tagged me in, uh, in this place and said, ah, oh, you should go there one day. You love traveling and I was like hmm I might just do that at the time I was a student so I couldn't afford it um, and I still can't afford it really because Switzerland is rather expensive but it's uh it's a place that I've always wanted to go to and um, uh, I'm really glad I have well, that I've got here um, so what's the plan so we're gonna we're here for about seven hours so we're gonna be uh, exploring Lauterbrunnen We've got day saver tickets as well, so that means that we can go around um, Switzerland, or not. Uh, we can go around parts of Switzerland, so we can also go to a place called Grindelwald. Yeah. And uh, we can also use the cable car, so we might do that, depending on how many people are trying to do it, because there's a lot of skiers today. But, uh, yeah, that'll be the next video, I'd imagine. So uh, join us in the next video, where we go off and we go and explore Lauterbrunnen, and one of the most beautiful places in Switzerland. So if you're interested in seeing more of this place, then please feel free to watch the video it'll be up soon and i hope you have a great day thank you for taking the time to watch this video oh careful that bird don't poop on me and uh, i shall see you very soon take care people